Hey, what's up, Chanel? And welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vlog. And today we're gonna be blasting this 1995 Canadian metal gem of Gore Lust, Reign of Lunacy. 1995 Canadian death metal underground gem. I just wanted to blast this for a second so you know I'm not fucking around when I say gem. Because Gore Lust are one of those bands that I have no idea why they are did not blow up after this. Maybe it was because Cryptopsy came along the year after with None So Vile, but we'll go into this in a second. I just want you to hear how ridiculously heavy Gore Lust did death metal in 1995, as it seems like they took a lot of influence from New York death metal and added a Canadian flair to it. It's fucking great. And you'll hear what I'm talking about in a couple seconds. After this, like, guitar part, like I was saying, it has that Canadian, like, just technical mentality. And then it just goes into straight-up barbaric, knuckle-dragging death metal. I love it. It's fucking sick. Listen. I love this shit! Absolute insanity from Canada. 1995! Fuck yeah! Now, why was Gore Lust left in the dust? Seriously, why? I have no fucking clue. This whole record is a goddamn masterpiece. Side Gore and Side Lust. And this has been reissued tons and tons of times. This is the 2016 first time ever on vinyl officially reissued by like eight different labels that's how you notice it's some like European shit when there's like eight different labels that put it out but I don't even know if this is European I grabbed this from Parasitic Records because Tim Call is a fucking awesome dude and has amazing ears when it comes to just like brutal underground death metal and all sorts of extreme music like if you want good shit and you see it on parasitic records and you don't know what it is chances are it's something amazing and hard as fuck to find as I was on the fence about picking this up like I really liked what I heard on YouTube and I had heard about the band in passing, but never really had, you know, went into their material. So this was like hearing a brand new record, and I felt like a fucking fool, honestly, for not knowing about this. This is something that I feel like I absolutely should have known about would have been in love with for years now and probably would have just 
spent a couple years looking for a copy of this. But it was finally released on vinyl format in 2016. After... There's a very, very nice write-up here and whatnot about this reissue. Because none of these guys thought too much about this record, I think, at the time. To where, all these years later, it's getting a vinyl treatment. I mean, now, 2016 was a few years ago, but still. And you have members of Gore Guts, like, lending some of their talents to this release, doing guest vocals. There's a sick creator cover on here. It's just fucking sick. Everything about this release rules. But remember, this was written in 2016, so... And here we go again, 21 years later, and Reign of Lunacy is still getting reissued. This time it's pretty special since no one would have predicted that one day, a vinyl release would see the light of day. We were wild, young, and naive, but so passionate about death metal. We were not rock stars, we were fans of the music. Passionate was the correct word. This little record is part of our existence and takes us back to a period which was pretty special for us and for a lot of death metal people. Thanks to Morbid Generation for keeping it alive again. Our respect to all of you. Jean Beaulieu, vocalist, June 2016. And then we have some lunacy facts. The album was completed in about five days at the famous Lee Studio Victor in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. All vocals were recorded in about four hours. Vocals were recorded mostly in one take from start to finish. One track for regular vocals and one track for high pitch vocals. That's fucking sick. Due to a reduced nighttime rate, the sessions took place mostly at night in the smaller studio. If you're a starting band, that is a great thing to do. Unless you have a friend with a recording studio. But the band was recording at the same time in the next room. People were dubbing porn movies. On the album, all drums are as they were played. Not even a click track was used for tempo. So, very, very warm and organic drums. I really love the drum sound on here. And, um... All are real performances without any enhancements. Francis Drums borrowed some drum parts from friends and he used two different bass drums. Their sizes did not match. One of these was from the Sears Christmas catalog. Yeah, really. And it actually says that. <laughs> yeah, really. But this is sick. This reminds me a little bit of Infester here. The band members were between 17 and 21 at the time of this recording. That's fucking awesome. Being Canadian, and at that time, having limited knowing of English. Now, this is why I think Gorelust might have fallen death on some American ears. Having a limited knowing of English, the lyrics and even two song titles contain grammatical errors. Also, some vocal parts were recorded without following the exact words. I've done that. I'm guilty of it when it comes to recording. Sometimes you get frustrated and can't pronunciate a word. So you, you do like kind of, you say the word, but not really. You kind of make a sound that sounds similar to the word. But, um, which was a common habit in the early days of death metal. And I'm sure it's still used today. Actually, I'm positive it is. But, um, they are here the same as they were back in the day. For the band, 
was already, for the band, this was already an upgrade since the 1993 demo songs had no lyrics at all. That's fucking sick. This is the fourth release of this album. Prior releases were CD versions. As of June 2016, all prior CD versions are sold out. Thanks to all of you. And that's fucking awesome. I'm not going to butcher these French Canadian names, but... These five maniacs created something that, you know, all these years later has stood the test of time. And in my opinion, is one of the better unsung gems of, you know, mid 90s death metal, especially from Canada. But like you have like some big names on here helping out. Like I said, uh, I think, um, well, rest in peace, Steve Hurdle. But you also have some uh, guest vocals by uh, Luck LeMay from Gorguts. I always mispronounce his name. Is it Luke? Is it Luck? The whole French-Canadian language, I'm like, ah, every time I get confused. Which is funny, because I remember when I met Lord Worm, and I was talking to him about how my mother is an English teacher, and so is he, but it's a different type of English. Like, he's teaching French-Canadian citizens how to properly, you know, speak our native tongue, which is pretty cool. But here with Gore Lust, Reign of Lunacy, this is just death metal for fans of death metal. And I have to thank Tim at Parasitic Records for having this fucking gem in his distro. As I was just blown away. Like, completely blown away by how fucking good this was. First to listen through, I immediately was like, alright, I, I need to get this. And here it is. I was lucky enough to also grab the last copy, and after I bought it, I started looking around on Google, and I found no other copies stateside. I'm sure Discogs has copies and whatnot, but I found some copies overseas in Germany and a couple other countries, but I have no idea where Tim got this from, but thank you. I love Parasitic Records, like seriously, if you're looking for like some like really underground shit, that's where to go. Seriously, like, it's amazing some of the stuff they have. Like there and like Expansion Abyss, they have some gnarly stuff in their distro and whatnot. And also, Expansion Abyss just put out this bad boy. Dippy Gus Death Ooze. So there's plenty of reason to go check out their distro. But also Parasitic, like I was saying, you know, they have releases like Disgorge Forensic, like stuff that's gnarly as fuck and hard to find. So when I saw this, listened to it, and it clicked in my head, I was like, dude, you need this. This is so fucking good. And it is. Totally, totally killer Canadian death metal from 1995. This is Gorlust, Reign of Lunacy, Grade A Underground Canadian Death Metal. I really wish I knew more about the band's background off the top of my head, but I don't. I just was so fucking stoked I wanted to share this with you. And hopefully, you know, you like what I liked about this release. And maybe you can grab a copy. Maybe you already have a copy. But I know this was reissued on cassette as well. But I'm so happy to have this on vinyl. But I wanted to share it with you guys and girls and let you know about it. In case it's new to you. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>